Oh, I can see his heart beating, dude. <laughs> it's either his heart or his mouth. Holy cow. Are you my Uber driver? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's nerves, it's dead, it's just nerves. Yeah, but still. It's freaky though. I, I was eating it and then this thing started moving. <laughs> so, uh, you say miso soup, hot, they just boil it. Miso soup just boiled and deep fried, deep fried. Can I get two, two of these miso and then these two fry? Okay. Hey everybody. At the beginning of my vacation, I had a five hour layover at LAX and wound up at this place, Kanpai Sepulveda. Uh, more big sake? Yeah, more. We have, uh, we have a bunch of sake. I, I saw some of the prices of your sake. Yeah. And it's like in the, it went to a thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh, if I use the, if I drink that bottle, I can't go to vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about staying in the airport because I didn't want to deal with the hassle of checking back in through security clearance, but I'm TSA pre-checked. So my friend picked me up and we went out to dinner, a small to medium-sized restaurant called Gampai Sepulveda. Oh my God! <laughs> Is that the uh, Shalongbao? Yeah, Shalongbao. Oh, really? In the back of my mind was the long lines over at LAX, but that was soon replaced by the incredible food here. For instance, the teriyaki salmon. It might just look plain on the menu, except for the price. It's a little pricey, but you can see the quality of the salmon here. Incredibly moist and juicy, perfectly cooked. I gotta say, this is the best teriyaki salmon I've ever had in my life. That's how impressed I was with the food here. Oh my goodness, this is incredible. Look at the size and the thickness of that. We're talking like eight ounce thick, but it's actually so thick it might be a 10 to 12 ounce. Oh, Ama that's- Ama Ebi egg. Ama Ebi egg. Yeah, it's a- yeah. Oh my goodness, that's yeah. amazing. And so, we have a more good sake, so if you need more, let me know. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, the, yeah. man, you saw them moving again? Yeah. Oh man. Oh, I can see his heart beating, dude. <laughs> it's either his heart or his mouth. Holy cow. <laughs> right here, dude. Ah, uh, thank, uh, thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, that's a uni chawan mushi. Chawan mushi, steamed egg custard incredibly light and savory rather than sweet paired with the uni one of my favorite dishes i was startled by the quality of the food exquisite best i ever had this includes all the high-end japanese restaurants i visited in las vegas and the sushi quality was extremely fresh now for something this good you're, you're not supposed to put too much uh, sauce on this if you do it's like very slight take the shrimp head and they would just um, suck the juice out yeah. of the body cavity yeah so pretty much you just put this in your mouth and you suck it you can't but this thing's still moving oh <laughs> The sweet shrimp had a wonderful flavor. They were pretty large. You suck the juice and the innards out of the head and then they take it back and deep fry it or put it into a miso soup. The tail is served as a sashimi. For those of you who are not into sushi, this might be a little bit too advanced for you. But if you like sushi, the flavors, incredibly deep, rich and satisfying. You like this? So, so, yeah. so you were actually impressed with the amaebi or just the shrimp fry? Yeah. Or just the fried head? The fried head and then the, the whole experience? Yeah. The whole experience was good, you're saying? Mm. Because... Mm -hmm. It's very plump. Mm. That's an amazing flavor. 
So this is the just regular bonito? I yes. don't know what you said. So do you dip these in wasabi or no? You can, but it already has a, a uh, flavor sauce on, top on it. Of it. Okay, so just go straight. Mm -hmm. This is bonito. What do you think? It has a very specific taste to it. Yeah, bonito is a little particular, right? Mm -hmm. I've never had a carpaccio this nice. I'm saying because look at the, the thickness of yeah. this hamachi, the yellowtail. Mm -hmm. And then with the vegetables too, this is an incredible amount of hamachi. This was a night of exotic sushi. One of the best experiences I've ever had. Everything was extremely fresh. In fact, when I bit into the head of the sweet shrimp, the nervous reaction kind of made it twitch. It startled me quite a bit as I've never had an experience like that. I've had tobiko and sushi at many places, but I've never had this kind of quality. Everything was professionally made. The guys behind the counter deserve more recognition. These guys know how to make sushi. I'm glad I decided to come out to eat in LA. There are tons of food trucks and places to eat, but this place was an experience that was unlike any I've ever had. I'm on my way to Vietnam, a brand new country which I know nothing about except for research online. I don't speak the language, but I know it has incredible experiences for me. But I had no idea what kind of things were waiting for me there. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video. More videos from Vietnam.